Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you could be here with us, uh, whatever time of day it is. Alongside Jan's with me today. Hey, Jan. Hey, Steve. Hi, everybody. So, how was your Easter? It was absolutely, Steve, I'm not, I can't emphasize it enough for me personally. Mm -hmm. It was extremely spiritually rewarding. The weather was beautiful. The events that, that, you know, that I had seen, you know, in the services were absolutely beautiful, just the way I wanted to feel. I felt the Easter spirit. For me, this meant a lot. How was your Easter, Steve? Not bad. I pretty much just, um, I was here by myself. I pretty much just, you know, did my, my own normal thing. Um, okay. found a, found a few good old TV shows to watch mostly just did a little bit of binge watching that type of thing. That was, that was basically what my Easter consisted of for the most part, but it was, it was, it was decent. I didn't mind it. I mean, good, good. A nice day of happiness and relaxation. You know, Steve, can we talk about ways that people have leaky wallets? (laughs) Okay. All right. You you know, a lot of times we lose money here, there, and absolutely everywhere. And we just do not even know the hows or the whys. And I do believe, because Steve and I discussed this in the past, that there's a very specific thing that people think is their kind of sort of friend in the financial arena, but it could be not really the greatest friend. You know what I'm saying, Steve, in that yeah. arena? I know that we expounded upon that. Well, what should people be wary of and be careful with? Okay. Um, well, there is one. I know you and I had talked about it the other day, you know, Cause you and I, we do conversate every day pretty much. And we all, we're always trying to think of things to come up with when you and I record. And I happen to mention that when people go to use their debit card, please be very, very careful. Whenever you go to set up a debit card or open a credit union account, which I highly recommend over a bank, do not, and I repeat, do not opt to take overdraft protection. Don't do it. Um, what that means is, is if you go over your balance, yeah, it's a security blanket. It's supposed to help you in the event that if you go over the amount, but there's only one problem. The money that's kicking in in order to save you from going over is their money. And if you're not careful with overdraft protection, you can owe back some money. This is why I say whenever you do over, you have your debit accounts, people think, oh, but it's a debit account, blah, blah. blah. That's true. It is a debit card, but here's what where, where people mess up. You still want to treat it like you would an old-fashioned paper check. Amen to that. Yes. Yes, the money comes out a little quicker. There's not three to four business days that it comes out. You know, the processing is not like, you know, years back. But you still want to balance your money. You still want to keep track of how much you spend. That's right. You still want to to budget your, your monies because when you get close to a certain amount of money, if you keep charging or keep buying and then the overdraft protection kicks in, that's, that can work against you. And I don't recommend it by all means, any of you that do have the overdraft protection. um, I don't know if it's been of a benefit to you because you do have to pay that money back. They will get their money back. And the fees could be exorbitant. Excuse me for cutting in for a second. The the fees could be absolutely exorbitant. And that is a perfect example of a wallet leaker. You know, Steve, you said something, uh, two words that are very key on your answer. That I don't know what it is with a lot of people keeping track. We need to keep 
right? We need to keep track of our money. Yeah, you do. And I, like I said, I've got my two credit union uh, accounts on my phone. You know, I, I check them off and I make sure if I've had a transaction, if I've bought something or whatnot, I always like to go back and make sure it has cleared my account. Yeah, that's um, right. But no, they the overdraft protection, if you... I'll give you I'll give you another example. If you owe no, what did I say owe? Well owe, owing is there, yes. Well let's say you owe two hundred and fifty dollars in overdraft. Let's say your your paycheck comes in and your paycheck is for a thousand dollars, you're only gonna see seven fifty. You're only gonna see seven hundred and fifty dollars because they're gonna take that two fifty back. That is that's, scary. Oh, that's I'm their, sorry. It is scary. That's their money. That's that's their money that's kicking in to protect you. But is it protecting you? But look at look at what happens. That next paycheck, you're out that difference in money. That's why I say, don't use it. Don't need it. If you check your accounts often, several times a day, many times during the week, do that because. Well, when I first started with banking years ago, I did have the overdraft. And then a good friend of mine's mom got in trouble with it. And she wound up having to pay back close to $300. Painful. That's when I up and said, no. No. You know, Steve, $300, let's think about this for a minute. Let's say a person is making $15, $20 an hour on the job. That's a lot of work hours just taken yeah. away, just mm -hmm. like that. It and is. they had the legal right to do it because it is, as you said, and it's true, their money, not our money, their money. So we have to do things to make our money work for us. Does it take responsibility? Yeah, it does. But that's okay because at the end of the day, that's for our own sake and benefit. You know, Steve, I just want to throw in and mention, um, recently uploaded will be um, on my channel uh, a video in reference to budget buffers. Not going to get into it here on this show, but I would rather rely on my own budget buffer than rely on overdraft protection. Sure, it sounds so sweet overdraft protection, a safety net. And I'm not saying that on a rare occasion, it may not have saved someone's back, but do know that's not your money. That's their money. I love that you brought up that topic. That is a huge wallet leaker, Steve. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you happen to have overdraft protection and you, and you happen to go over your, your amount of money, there's kicks in. Your next paycheck, if you see a short of amount of an amount, that's because they deducted their part to take back. Right. Oh, no. And if you're not, yes, you are right. They will get their money back. Nothing, nothing in this world is free. They are going to get their money back no matter what. So. The very, very truth, Steve. You know, there are a lot of... Uh, or wallet leak is if I, if I uh, may address it, for example, I just want to take a second away from, uh, from that specific topic, if it's okay, not yeah. having something in your, or, or beginning a little bit of a grocery stockpile for the tougher times of the month. If, if let's say the more plentiful abundant time of the month for you is at the beginning do little things. Doesn't have to be big, exorbitant things. Do little things. Put a couple of cans away. Get a couple of bags of pasta, a little box of rice. Put it away, and you'll mm -hmm. never be without. Because then you end up doing frantic shopping or borrowing funds from someone else. That's never a good thing. That's mm -hmm. never a good thing. These can avoid the leaky wallet syndrome. Um, one thing that I'm doing different in the month of April compared to other months because of something that happened to me that I didn't ask for. And it was enough of a, it was enough of a hit 
against me, not for me. Well, let's just say that this month I'm not going to be so apt to go to the grocery store and buy something. You know, if I still have some remaining, I would rather run out or have one or two left before I go. For example, one of the things I like to keep on hand is my, my seltzer waters. And I've probably got about 18 cans down here on the bottom. What I'm going to do is when I get down to about two or three, that's when I'll go replenish it. Before, I would go now and get extra. But I have to remember, too, that can work for me. That can also work against me. What do I mean by against me? What if something happens to be on sale at the moment, and if I wait, that sale won't be there? So right. I have to think it out. But I'm, I'm, but in general, not counting the sale, but in general, I'm going to be treating my grocery store money differently this month than I have been. I'll still go to the store. I just won't be apt to go as, as quickly. I'll wait a little bit further out. This is interesting, Steve. I want to mention two important points. I'm not mentioning anyone's name, but I have a couple of personal friends that took an income loss. They got a letter in the mail, absolutely unexpected, because those particular people receive certain benefits of necessary, and they took a hit of about fifty or fifty-five dollars loss on their um, the card. You know, the EBT on their EBT. Income loss, about three people that I know of, they notified me of that. I felt so badly. Times are tough enough at the grocery store. This was not the time for those people to receive those income losses. You know, when people lose on their EBT, that's not just, oh, it's just, you know, food stamp. That is income. That's value. That's well, money, food money. Right. So well, they have if, to make adjustments, Steve. If, if, if I was one of those three people on your list, if I was, um, if I was not, you can make that four because I took one of those hits. That's why. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Well, I don't know. I, if I, I hate all, it. I don't know if I'm included in your list of three or not, but I, I really, yeah, I didn't want to, you know, di distinctly, di you know, let oh, no. that out. But no, if no, you're no, okay that's, with that's it. fine. I have no problem letting people yeah. know. Steve took a loss too. I took a hit. So. I took a I took a fifty-two dollar hit from last month versus this month. So what I'm gonna have to do is it's, it's fifty-two to be exact. So what I'll have to do is I'll just have to cut back my shopping about thirteen dollars a week. Right. That's a good way to look at it, Steve, though. That's a good attitude. Um, instead of looking at that whole chunk, anyone listening that might have taken a recent income loss for whatever the reason, whether it's on EBT, uh, EBT or some other benefit or something else, if you take a, yeah. an income loss, break it up into weekly, what can you do about it? It's very good. Yeah. yeah. You, so you just yeah. kind of go off about $13 a week of shopping. Is that what you're saying? Times four, which is 52. So, mm -hmm. you know, however, how many weeks there is in the month of April, I, I haven't right. really looked. But, and um, I asked those friends, Steve, the other people, I asked them, do you have a stockpile? Because I never really like get, you know, too personal about yeah. things. I, I asked them, do you have, you know, grocery stockpile? And thankfully, and it's a big capital T, thankfully they do. So, yeah, that's a good buffer. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason why I never, you're probably wondering, well, why doesn't Steve ever talk about stockpiling anymore is because I have exhausted the subject. That's why I never talk about it. Oh, no, no. There, there is a limit. Yeah. Um, it's not that I don't like the subject. In fact, where I'm living, I live in Florida. So the word stockpile is like top of the list, but, but there's only... Um, it, it's not a bad subject, but I, I, I can only say so much about it, but you definitely, and literally there is only so much you could say about it. Literally. I understand. I get it. So that's one of the reasons why I don't discuss that topic very much anymore. Right. It's, but, but there are videos that you can go back. I've got 400 plus videos, but I do have a few videos that I've done that talks about stockpiling. If you want to go back and revert back to some stuff that I've done, 
but right. I will still talk about grocery stores and and how to save and this and that. But um, but people always think to mentioning stockpile again. It solely re reverts to having food in in store Wrong. and other things. Right. It's not just that. If I'm in a hurricane prone state, I've got I got a lot that can happen to me here in Florida. Weather wise. Yes. Power. I don't know how you do it. It's very good that you, you know, think ahead of time and so, stuff of that nature. No, a lot of this. There's some of the time I'm not prepared, but I still make it. So but I'm not underprepared either. I'm kind of like enough right. to get me by. But no flashlights, batteries. Um, make sure your cell phones are charged up at all times. So you can all, you can always buy these little portable chargers that you can use to charge up your phone if it goes down. But be very careful though, because if you don't have power, you can't charge your charging element back up. So only so only use your phone if you have to. Have to. Because if you use it for leisure, for fun, to listen to music, it's going to drain your battery. Right. So there's no, so stockpile is not just food. It's necessities as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also uh, medical things like Band-Aids, uh, cotton balls, uh, sterile Alcohol. pads, shampoo for your hair, things you're not going to eat. You know what, Steve, the whole bottom line with a leaky wallet syndrome, for example, is to just take a minute when things are nice and quiet and plan ahead. That's that's really the bottom line. But I do like your um, point to get about the overdraft protection. Thanks a lot. That was good. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, that that is something if you have it. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you have it, I mean... I don't, I don't particularly care for it, but somebody can up and say, oh, but I have overdraft protection and I like it. It has helped me. Okay. True. I guess, and I guess it could be of help, but, but when your paycheck is short one paycheck and you wonder where your money went, All right. think about it. You are right. And my area of concern is not the person that on occasion has a as an issue once in a great. My area, area of concern, the person that thinks it's their forever thing to do and to do it all the time, make a bad habit out of it. That's bad. That is a really yeah. bad thing. It's very costly. Just save your own money and make your own budget buffer, which I get into, you know, on, on that video. But yeah. All good stuff, Steve. Thanks a lot. Uh, you know, but I do have one request, uh, everyone. Don't forget to smash down Steve's like button. And I know Steve won't say it, but I'm sure that a super thanks would be absolutely very helpful at this time, especially when you have an, you know, non prepared for income loss. And anyone that takes a cut, and I, I pray for my friends that took that 50 or $55 cut on their uh, food allotment on the EBT. That's awful, especially right now. This is just ridiculous. So mm -hmm. my heart goes out. Well, I put the banner up down at the bottom. I know it's at the end of, you know, our session that we're recording, but you know, I, like I address here, a super thanks is always welcome. Very much appreciated because it is because I don't just like to come on here and make a video just to make a video. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm still trying to hit the 1000 mark, but I am, you know, semi monetized and I look at it like this. And of course, like my channel, if you know, it definitely needs like, and subscribe if you do like it. Um, I look at it like this. Imagine me a piano player. And it, and if you noticed at some piano places, you've got this big, 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 clear round container sitting on the top of the piano. And if somebody plays a song and you like it, people put money. Yeah. That's how, that's how I kind of look at my videos. If you like what I do, show me some recognition. And right. I'm not trying to come off as greedy when I say that, but oh. you know, I do, you know, put my head together. We put our head together to put these videos up for all of you guys. But I, I mean, it's, we love our work, but it is work. It is work, yeah, no matter how you look at it, because you're right. putting thought into it to create. 
So, and not just thought. We also pay for this lovely, lovely uh, thing on the top that begins with the letter your, S. Yes. Which yes, we love do. it. We love that thing. It's a very helpful thing, but it costs money. That's we don't right. do the free one. We pay. That's right. Yeah, the, I don't, the free one doesn't offer a lot of no. benefits. You don't get those bells and whistles no. and all the, this fun stuff. <laughs> no, you don't. All right. Well, it was well good thanks so you. much for having me here, Steve. Sure, no problem. It was good to have you here. Um, and thank all of you for being here with us today. And, um, you know, I or I and or Jan will see you guys back here at a later time. Um, like I said, I'll probably throw something on in between, you know. So, you know, always be on the lookout for that. Hope everybody has a great rest of your evening or whatever time of day it is and a good weekend. See you next time. Bye, Bye everybody.